Hey guys, it's CodeZilla, and welcome to the next video on this series on how to use the command line. Now, in the last video, we learned how to print the working directory. And basically, we do this on a daily basis already, but we're not really aware of it because we use these things called graphical user interfaces. In other words, they're called GUIs. And we're so used to using them that we don't even realize what's actually happening behind the scenes of these graphics. If we look here at the top of our window, we can see that we're actually using the PWD command. We're printing the working directory right here. We're currently in the Applications folder, and if we go ahead and look down here, we can see that we're using another command called the List command. Basically what this does is it lists all of the contents of our current directory. And if we go ahead and double click on a subdirectory, we can change directories. We can use another command called cd, change directory, to actually change the directory and it actually lists the contents of that directory and prints the working directory for us right here. So basically we're using all of the commands that we're going to learn about today, but we're using them in this GUI and we don't need to do that. We can just use them in the command line. So let's go ahead and open up a window on our terminal emulator and go ahead and do just that. So if we want to go ahead and review, let's go ahead and type PWD. We're going to print the current directory that we're working in. And I'm currently in my documents directory. So I'm actually going to use this command called CD to go back to my home directory. Now if you go ahead and type CD, which stands for change directory, and press enter, it'll pretty much shortcut you back to your home directory from wherever you are. So if we go ahead now and type out PWD once more, we can see that we are now back in our home directory. Now, once we're here, we may want to know what files, what subdirectories are available to us. And if we go ahead and type out the ls command, which stands for list, we can do exactly that. We can now see a list of all of the subdirectories and files available to us. So let's go ahead now and change directories to one of these. Let's go ahead and enter into our documents folder. So if we type out cd, press space, and then we type out the name of the directory, documents, and press enter, we can actually change directories. And if we want to confirm this, we can print the working directory and see that we actually have navigated here. Now, what if you want to go back one folder? Well, on the graphical user interfaces we're so used to, we usually have a little arrow pointing backwards, and that takes us back one folder. Now, what if we want to do that here in the command line? What we can do is we can type out CD and then two periods, basically dot, dot. And that will take us back just one directory. So if we go ahead and print the working directory, we're back in our home directory. Now, this is pretty much the basics of navigating your computer's hard drive through the command line. And in the next video, we're going to look at some more advanced usages of these basic commands here. Because what if we want to list, say for example, all of the hidden folders and files on our computer? Well, we need to learn how to use the list command with the flags that are available to us. Or say, what if we're, you know, six folders deep on our hard drive and we want to go back just three folders? Well, we can do that, and we're going to look at the syntax for it. So stick around in this series if you're interested in the command line on Mac OS X or on Linux, and I'll see you guys in the next video.